With all of the record modes I've shown you so far, the recording process is non-destructive, which means when you punch in over audio or even record over audio, you still have the original clips located in your clip list. But there are destructive modes of recording which might be useful on occasion. One is destructive record and the other is destructive punch. And they probably work pretty much as you would expect. Let me show you destructive recording. We have our organ part here. It's labeled organ 24. Now, if I'm doing normal recording and I start recording, I still have organ 24 sitting out there on my clip list. And the new clip would be organ 25. Actually, let me show you that. I'll press record. So here's organ 25. But organ 24 is still there. It's in my clip list over here. And I can use my trimmer tool and trim it back. And there's the original organ 24. But now what happens when I go into destructive record? Let's do that exact same thing. I'll press record. No new clip is created. It's still using the same clip, Organ 24, and the old clip is not back there. In fact, if I drag out Organ 24, you can see it's actually changed the original clip. Organ 25 was that little clip I recorded before, so that has nothing to do with this. I've destructively recorded over this file. I've changed the file permanently. Now, destructive punch works the same way, except I'm punching in. Here's how normal quick punch works. I set my mode for record here on the organ track. I'll go to the beginning of the file and I'll start playback. Now I'll turn on punch and turn it off. And remember I enabled recording by pressing the three key on my numeric keypad, one of the ways that I can enable record. So I still have organ 2401 and 2402, so it split that clip into two other clips. And I have this new clip, 2601, but I can bring back 24. It's still there. I have the little clip I just recorded. There it is. So nothing is destructive. Everything is saved. So now let's see what happens with destructive punch. Destructive punch works a little differently. First of all, if I try and start my playback after I turn the track on, notice it's blue, I'll turn it in record mode, and I'll press play, and I get this strange dialog box. One or more of your DPE tracks is not prepared for destructive punch. Pro Tools has to do something to the audio file to get it ready for destructive punching. So I'll choose prepare DPE tracks, and it actually renders the file what it's doing is combining fragments of the audio, and I will get a new file that's called organ probably 27. Let's take a look. Organ 28, very nice. So you can see it consolidated all the way out to here for some reason. That could be a little bug in my version of Pro Tools. So now when I press playback, I'll now press record. And you can see it did record what I just played, but it's still organ 28. It destructively changed the file underneath. So these two record modes, destructive and destructive punch, are a little scary because they change the file permanently. So you only want to use those in special cases.